we do want to talk about a product that we launched a few years ago, which is the edge regulator. When we, when we set out to do this, we said, okay, what's good and bad about a regulator? And obviously what's good is it takes high pressure, puts it into a manageable level that you can work with. What's bad about a regulator is it's susceptible to damage. So what we did is we developed a system, i.e. the regulator, that prevents that from happening. It's, it's designed so that it envelops everything in a smaller package that actually uses the cylinder itself, the wall of the cylinder, to help protect the integral part of the regulator. When you look at the design of our regulator, it doesn't look like anything you've seen before, and that's okay. That's, again, that's by design. But what we've done is we've, we've built all of the integral part, the pieces that we need to protect, inside the portion of the regulator that would, when it's installed, the regular, or excuse me, the cylinder wall would actually come to about here. So that means that in the event that this cylinder was to fall, the only thing that could strike the ground is actually this portion of the regulator. Now here's the good part. What we've developed inside this knob is a three-stage mechanism that can actually absorb the energy of that fall. Um, the first stage, if you have a slight glancing blow, it'll take it work fine. Depending on how severe the impact is, it can get all the way into the third stage. If that happens, all you do is take this little decal off, take the set screw out, replace the knob, just keep working. It's a great, great thing. And, and we're really proud to say we're the only ones that have this. It's our invention, it's our designs, and it works. It's great. It's been a lot of fun. Hello, I'm Tom Wormer, and I'm the brand manager for Tweco Welding Products. And we'd like to talk about some of the new exciting machines we've just introduced into our new line. One of those is the new Fabricator 141i, which is our multi-process MIG stick TIG self-contained unit that runs off of 115 volts. One of the other unique features is that it will run a spool gun, so the operator also can run aluminum wire welding on, on, on aluminum. On the inside of the machine, we give a complete setup guide. So for the home hobbyist or the inexperienced welding, when they take it out of the box, they go to, to, this, to the setup guide, they pick their material or their wire, they set the, the parameters, and they're welding right off the back. Another product we've just introduced is the 186 ACDC. This product is the do-it-yourselfer ACDC TIG machine. What's fascinating about this machine is that now you can weld like a professional because we give you all of the fascinating things that you can do with aluminum welding. We give you wave balance for cleaning action, we give you pulsation, we give you uh, the ability to weld stick, you can weld DC or AC, high frequency start for an entry level price. So for the money, this is probably the best AC DC TIG machine on the market today. Yeah, as you can see, uh, Bowler Welding Group is now first up peanut Bowler Welding, uh, full service uh, manufacturer for welding consumables. A uh, strong focus on the metallurgical know-how uh, for the best solution. Um, we're fully committed to a customer uh, orientation. Uh, the actual name change as well as the design uh, is only the finishing touches of a much larger 16-month project where we uh, simplified the business, uh, bundled competencies, and essentially provided our customers with an even more easy to, to deal with partner. Um, uh, as the slogan says, Boulder Welding Know-How Joins Steel, we're now a, a completely integrated company within First Alpina. First Alpina is uh, a steel-based technology provider with 500 companies in 50 countries. So it, it provides us with an extremely strong financial backing, as well as the technical know-how of welding, and that's great for customers, as well as for distributors. We have uh, consolidated the six brands into three, uh, brand Bowler Welding is essentially the brand for joint welding applications with the largest portfolio in the world with 2,000 products. UTP Maintenance is the brand for repair and maintenance applications, including cladding as well as hard facing. And Pontage and Brazing is our competency expert from Germany, uh, providing brazing technology worldwide. Uh, what's also important to say is all the products, including the product names, 
stay the same. That way customers can still find the products they use on a, on a daily basis. But through these three pillars of competency, we can strengthen and improve the portfolio and provide the best service we can. Well, we have this uh, dual arc welding head that we have. It's a multi-process weld head. It quickly changes between TIG and MIG welding, which kind of differentiates it from everything else that's out there. It allows people to put in one style of root weld, say a TIG root weld, and then within a couple minutes change over to a MIG process, either a pulse MIG or a flux core, to fill the weld and cap it in a, with a faster deposition so it speeds time and increases efficiency. Uh, we're finding some, some real applications in the LNG industry and metal fabrication, people doing uh, job, uh, fabrication work in their shops and out in the field. So the, the portable, versatile nature of it really has a wide applicability for all those people. So as, a, as a company, we've got the machining equipment and we've got the welding equipment, so we can provide the total solutions to all the, the modifications they want to make or the new fabrication stuff, as well as our services department can come out and do all of this work at their facilities if they don't want to invest in the equipment or the training of their people, that we can provide that service for them. Um, well, I'm Joanne and I'm at the Honeywell booth here at Fabtech and uh, one of the major things that we're doing because we're uh, promoting our fiber metal in the weld program and it's a program that we set up for students and instructors um, because with fiber metal we've been in the welding business since 1905 when we um, introduced the welding helmet and we understand that it takes a lot to make a great welder and it really starts with students. So we decided to put together this program that really gives an opportunity to get resources into the classroom, um, different kinds of promotions for the students, discounted product, um, and a real way to interact um, with students and really kind of promote the welding profession. So um, we've set up this program and it's really easy to sign up. They can go to fibermetal.com backslash in the weld and there's a whole bunch of resources. There's posters, educational information, tips, best practices, and contests. The instructors have been really great about it. They're very excited to have more resources for their classroom, the more the better, because we've heard, you know, that actually the welding classrooms, there's more and more people coming into the programs, which is very exciting, um, but it's awfully hard to find instructional tools and resources, and especially in the products, it's great to know what the latest is coming out and be able to get access to those. Hi, my name is Benjamin Howell. I'm the president of Kemper America. We are based in Atlanta, Georgia. And I've been doing this for 18 years, and this is our product. We have a new product line that we introduced uh, several weeks ago in Germany. Uh, and these are the new colors, of Kemper. And what these do is that they clean up welding smoke. And the nice thing we have is our arm, because nobody has anything like it. A three-year-old can move this arm around, place it anywhere. And that's what welders are looking for. They want something easy to use and not something that starts to fall down and they won't use it then. So they're portable, they're easy to maneuver around, place where you need to have them and put them back if you don't need them, get them out of the way. Um, then we have also wall mount units that you place on a wall and that's what we do best. Um, I'm Brian Sanders here with Metabo and this is our new flathead grinder. Uh, this is a unique tool, there's not another one like it in the world and it's designed to get into tight areas. Uh, where a typical grinder could not. So it's a really problem solving tool. Uh, been received very well at the show. Um, I think every, every uh, toolbox is going to have one in it. This allows you to get into an uh, area as low as 43 degree angle. It's a 900 watt machine, uh, 9,000 RPM. It has a quick guard adjustment so we can lock our guard in right or left. Even the spindle lock is on the side to reduce the profile of the tool and comes with a side handle which can be mounted uh, on the right or left of the machine. These are our convex accessories, so they curve up, which allows you to get into a tight profile also on the side. It comes in ceramic and zirconium, and we'll have a flap disc behind it, and also a unitized wheel, which is good for polishing. Well, we're, we're highlighting all of our push-pull technology and aluminum welding equipment, but specifically for this year, what we've done, we've, we've created the, uh, the camo look on some handles of the python that is, that is very recognizable in the industry. We put an American flag on it, and we put the camo on it. Uh, we've got a, um, 
a handle kit that we've featured and uh, it doesn't show it on the flyer but once we got here and we saw the the response that we were getting from it we thought as a company we will make a, a percentage donation to the wounded warrior program so that we can sponsor support that as a sponsor for them so um, right now the big feature is is our push-pull aluminum welding equipment and the camo uh, handles and the uh, the flag you know there's a little bit of play off the the TV show Duck Dynasty and it that has been really huge um, and because of that I think most people recognize the camo look from that um, a lot of hunters and so forth and it's the younger generation that seems to be coming by seeing that and saying oh my gosh that's really cool that's awesome and, and stuff like that the veterans are very intrigued with the the, the flag on the handle so so we're kind of hitting both markets in that respect the younger new guys in the in the in the industry and then the older guys the established guys with the american flag my name is trey parish i'm director of business development for art machines what we're highlighting at the show is we have eight new products in the booth um, two of those we'll go through real quick this is a ID bore cladding machine, primarily developed for valve seat repairs, governor valves, um, steam chest type work. Um, it's got a 1.6 meter reach. It's uh, the only commercially available system that we have that has wire manipulation and vision in a continuous rotation package. So it's, uh, it's been a very good product so far for us. We're four or five of these in the field now, continuing to launch this now as a new product. This is our smallest bore torch that goes for this system. This also has vision and wire manipulation, and it's down in a 55 millimeter as welded ID. So we can go from 55 millimeters out to 800 millimeters. Once we get above 75 millimeters, we do have a larger torch. It's a little better gas coverage, um, but this is our smallest torch that we use for this system. We are also a, a custom engineering group, so we provide solutions. So if we don't have a standard product that works for it, we'll design something or find something for you that will. So it's been great. We've had a, a good turnout and a lot of good responses. Another one of our new products that we're showcasing here is our data acquisition system. This is a, it's a three screen monitor. So you have your leading and your trailing cameras. And in the center screen, you have a data acquisition system. It's an independent verification. We're not streaming the data from the power supply. It's a separate verification of your process. We're also recording the video and the data and overlaying those. So you can go play back at any given time throughout the process and see the video overlaid with the stream data. Those files can also be exported an ABI file for the video. You can take the data into an Excel format and do charts and graphs or, or see exactly what you, your process was maintained. 